Okay, this class we will discuss about ID3 uh, program and this is the decision tree program and these are the program, these are the code that we use during solving the ID3 concept. So this is the load file, this is a load CSV file, this is to open the file, read in the read, for read mode and read the lines and put it in the data set and read, uh, pop the headers and put it in the headers. So this is the function and the next one. Uh, next one is node which create the node class that is we use in the during the id3 program and this is the sub tables which classifies the different types of each attributes so we look at the examples this is the code we use as the sub tables and this is the code entropy this is a function entropy which is used to calculate the um, entropy values and this this part of the code is used to calculate the gain gain of the function <coughs> and this is to calculate the build tree function this is a code that is used for the build tree function the tree constructing a tree and calling the nodes and finding finalizing the tree and this is printing the tree according to the nodes that we have calculated there are two different levels the levels and the data set and the features and the functions that is called the input is taken this is the to total 14, 14 inputs examples that is taken and the final column is the target function and each outlook temperature humidity and wind so these are the values attributes that is taken and each attributes has a different examples that is sunny hot high weak and uh, the the final attribute is the uh, the target concept and this is the target concept they are totally 14 values and here in this example there are <coughs> there are 49 yes and 5 no's the 9 yes and these are the examples that we are considering and the decision tree that is formed for this is the this, this is the decision tree that is being formed and the first one is the outlook we are considering and the outlook has the different subtypes that is sunny, overcast and rainy and in this given example that all are of yes for this out overcast and there is no subdivisions so we stop here and there is there is no and yes separated and we select the next attribute that is humidity and then the finally we get this this part of the tree and this and for the rainy this part of the tree okay so <clears throat> let us look at the example now we call the first part of the function in the program so that is to load the file, load the input file that is the load csv in tennis.csv that function is called this part of this function is called and it has to open the file tennis.cs and it is to load and the return type is the dataset and the features and the features is the header, headers of the file, dataset is the dataset and this function is called here and the file is opened, yes the file given input file is opened and lines is read and put it in the data set and let us look at what is a data set data set is no it, it is it is not taking the first row okay so then the first row is the headers what is the first row is the headers that is outlook temperature humidity wind and target that is the first row and that is put into header files and the data set are the contents that is sunny hot high weak no so this is the totally 14 data sets all these things data is stored in data set and next next function there the return type is we got the return type by calling this function so data set is put in data set and headers is put in features so that is what headers is having outlook temperature humidity wind and target and next one is calling the function build tree passing the data set and features so the build tree function is called by passing and before that there is a node class that we have created that is the node initialize the self attribute at self and attribute is called and it has children um, these are the attributes this is the node which we are will be using and this is the input that is the uh, four attributes outlook target uh, temperature humidity wind and target and these are the values of it and this is the five, five no's and for nine yes and each having the examples and and this example is given and we calculate the what is the last column 
so last column for row minus 1 row of the in data so the last column is the the values the target values so this minus 1 represents the last row that is the last column row in each row select the last uh, value so the last value is the no no s and all this uh, that is nine yes and five no's are the last values so that that becomes the last column and similarly this is for the first level so when when we go to the first level we have nine yes and five no's and when we go to the second level so we have selected over uh, uh, humidity and when we select humidity and this this to select among these humidity so to select among humidity wind uh, temperature and outlook and this is the last row and this is the last row for rainy so overcast it is all are yes and this is this is the first layer in the first layer uh, in, the, in the first layer this is the input and in the second layer this is the input for the last column and then the built-in function is called uh, the, that is the data minus one so each attributes are uh, there are totally four attributes and the last column is the fifth one so that is five minus one so n is equal to n is equal to five minus one there are totally four gains we are going to calculate so the goals initialize the gains so there are totally four gains we select which is the highest gain so which is the highest so then we call the function compute gain which is, will pass the data and the column so what is the column it's column of each uh, each attributes for example temperature uh, humidity uh, temperature outlook temper, uh, humidity and wind so this is the column each column is part temperature humi uh, temp uh, out outlook uh, temperature humidity and wind so each column is first one is outlook will pass then we'll pass the temperature then we'll pass the um, so we'll see here so that is the function is uh, subtables inside compute gain again one more function is called that is subtables so what is this subtables what is the task of this subtables this function subtables is called uh, what it does is that it separates according to the uh, uh, attributes so let us look at how it is separated this function is called and uh, this is it will pass zeroth column first column the second column third column for the when it is uh, for the 14 values and now inside this what is the return type of this subtables what is the task done here so it calculates it separates for example if it is attributes is over uh, outlook attribute is outlook and what are the uh, the sub attributes of this outlook is overcast sunny and rainy so it separates them so if it is overcast how many overcast is there if it is sunny how many sunny is there if it is rainy how many rainy is there so this is the overcast there are four overcast and then it selects in the uh, sunny so there are how many sunnies there are one two three and four there are four sunnies and how many there sorry there are five sunnies and how many rain is there one two three and four and five there are five rain is there so it separates so there are there so these values is so you have a overcast the five overcast the four overcast is there sunny the five sunnies is there rainy the five sunnies is there in uh, in outlook so this is the separation is made at um, that the sub tables and similarly uh, hot if it is temperature hot mild and cool the separation is done so this is the the job of sub tables separating each uh, sub attributes now the sub attributes after, during compute gain the return type of the attribute values and dic we have got so that is passed to this data attribute values is passed to calculate the entropy so here the next one is the we call the function of uh, entropy but total entropy what is the total entropy the total entropy is the um, uh, the formula that is used calculate the entropy function is called, called this e of s is calculated here the first entropy is calculated and e of sv is calculated entropy this is the total entropy and total entropy for the individual attributes so this is the entropy the, this code calculates the entropy values this function that is the minus uh, there is a formula that is used to calculate the entropy minus log value so this is the log value and this entropy is calculated and it is written so hey, again this is the total entropy is calculated for each attribute values we calculate the entropy again this function is called entropy function is cal cal calculated for each entropy values each uh, data values 
and the how the function is called from node we calculate we search we we call the function that is build tree and from build tree compute gain and from compute gain what are the sub tables sub tables is calculated and then we call the entropy and the return type of entropy we get and the sub table return type and then compute gain and then finally build the tree and the print the tree function is called and the print tree function prints the uh, values at uh, each levels so this is the, the this is the tree that we have getting that is outlook sunny humidity high no humidity no yeah, so that is yes and the uh, outlook rainy wind strong no outlook rainy strong wind weak yes if it is overcast all values are yes so this is the final output okay thank you